Hello, I welcome you all in this presentation related with the subject failure analysis and prevention. And we are talking about the industrial engineering tools and their possible applications in the failure analysis. Uh, so far, we have talked about the Pareto um, uh, diagram, uh, we have also talked about the Ishikawa diagram and uh, in the last presentation I have talked about the failure mode and effect analysis. Uh, actually the Pareto diagram uh, talks about the uh, ranking of the various uh, factors or the causes uh, which are uh, more important to have a particular kind of effect while uh, the Ishikawa diagram or that is also known as fishbone diagram. Uh, fishbone diagram actually helps to identify the various major and minor causes for a particular kind of effect. Uh, there is no severity, there is no occurrence possibility. Uh, which is taken care of in case of the FMEA. FMEA, FMEA talks about the the various the modes of the failure, the causes, and then uh, the the severity uh, of the effect of failure, the the frequency of occurrence and the detection possibility, how easy to detect or difficult to detect to avoid the failure. Uh, so, uh, it, it is simply a relative ranking of the few causes or few factors with regard to their importance, maybe it is good or the bad effect. It simply talks about the various major and minor causes for the particular kind of effect. Here it uh, provides a better insight of the kind of severity if particular cause is leading to a particular failure mode and then its occurrence and the detection possibility. And if we talk of the FTA fail, fault tree analysis or the fault tree diagram, uh, it talks about the interrelationship, interrelationship between various stages or layers governing the function of a product or process, function of product or process. So, this is more important to see the sequentially, uh, to see sequentially the various stages uh, which can lead to the fault or improper functioning in a particular uh, process or the product. So, uh, the interrelationship between the various layers uh, of a, a process or product uh, can be understood in much a better way. Uh, while uh, understanding the different layers related with the product and the processes, it also explores the way by which a particular layer or particular function or particular step can fail. So, uh, for example, uh, like there is a failure of a one particular uh, aspect A. So, the failure of A can occur due to the various regions. So, like, uh, so in that case, the reason X and the reason Y can be mentioned, but the X can affect, uh, X can be caused by some other regions like 1, 2, 3 like this. So, uh, th these are the 3 possible ways or one of the po one of the 3 possible ways or uh, presence of all these 3 regions or just one reason is necessary for the uh, for a, a failure of the X and if the X fails then a component means the system as a whole um, starts to perform, uh, starts to perform. Uh, poorly. Similarly, so here if we see there is like lay, this is one layer, this is another layer, this is third layer which is delivering the output. So, it helps to analyze a particular layer with regard to the causes uh, which will be leading to the improper functioning of the uh, a particular process or the product. So, it helps us to provide the better insight with regard to the different stages and with regard to the different layers which are present in a product 
and uh, which will also give us insight of the various ways or the causes by which a particular layer uh, can fail. So, this is uh, what will be uh, uh, this is what is in the gist of the, uh, the FTA or the fault uh, tree analysis or the fault tree diagram. So, basically fault tree diagram is developed for this purpose. So, if we see uh, this is also a basically team based approach means we need the people from the different uh, the sections and the groups who are concerned with the given product or given process uh, means they are familiar with the different aspects related with the use function operation design etc so uh, so the people from the different groups are brought together and when it is uh, applied uh, it helps to identify the various causes at different layers or the stages of a product or process which can lead to the failure and at the same time uh, it also helps uh, if we know the various causes and their interrelationship with the various st stages it helps in uh, uh, helps us in developing the better plan of action plan of uh, action for avoiding failures or it will give us the directions in which the investigation should be carried out direction for investigation uh, of the failure analysis so that uh, the suitable uh, root cause can be identified. So, better understanding of the root causes of the failure and uh, the better developing the better plan of action for avoiding those root causes so that the failure can be taken care of. So, um, going by this uh, the fault tree uh, diagram basically it talks about the various causes at the present at the different layers which can lead to the failure of a product or of the process. So, fault tree analysis is a cause and effect diagram and for this diagram for developing this diagram we use standard symbols. It is used extensively in safety uh, in the field of safety and in the field of the defense industry in order to see what can go wrong at a particular stage uh, so that the corrective action can be taken. It is an structured approach for analyzing the root causes of the failure uh, uh, and uh, especially those modes which are not uh, uh, yet fully understood and it is better suited for understanding the different layers stages of a particular process or product and also helps in understanding the relationship between the different layers uh, and the relationship between the causes uh, which can lead to the failure of the component. So, the procedure of uh, developing the FTA uh, for procedure for FTA fault tree analysis or developing the fault tree diagram. Uh, it uh, basically relies heavily on the identification of the different components and the ways by which those components can fail. So, uh, sequentially we try to develop the flow chart or the functional body diagram to see what uh, is the sequential way by which information flows or the product flows or the process flows for uh, performing the uh, process or the product uh, performance effectively. So, here a team in um, for FTA uh, the team is constructed or team is developed uh, around the uh, three aspects like uh, uh, the functional block diagram we need to see what are the different stages by which information or regarding the product or the process flows in, what are the various inputs, how the process works in and what kind of the output is achieved. So, uh, then team develops uh, the uh, different uh, causes for each of the 
uh, layer like at the input and at the process and output level and then team identifies the types of failure where it did not have expertise to analyze the root causes. So, those areas which are difficult to be analyzed in view of the expertise uh, in view of limited expertise. So, the things can be left on also for certain sections if they find that it is uh, difficult to analyze. So, if deemed necessary then team can take the help of the consultants for further analysis. Uh, this uh, when the FTA is carried out uh, it is uh, it leads to the causes of the failure and based on that solutions can be uh, developed uh, in order to avoid the failures in uh, the service. So, basically the fault tree diagram uses certain standard symbols one is like uh, the square uh, symbol which is uh, used to define uh, the top level or uh, it is we can say the kind of failure or the problem which is to be addressed. Uh, then there is uh, another uh, symbol uh, which is uh, termed as R gate. R gate is indicated with the help of a diagram like this. R gate shows that this kind of effect, particular effect or particular function, uh, the failure of a particular effect or the function can be due to the presence of either of the uh, two uh, things uh, or two or more things. So, two or more causes or the factors needed for OR gate means uh, like this is the one factor uh, which we can say. Uh, this is uh, this is one and this is another. So, what it says that if there is like A and B component, so failure of either A can lead to the malfunctioning or failure of the B can also lead to the main malfunctioning or improper functioning of the product. When this is the situation then we use OR gate and then there is AND gate. These are symbols AND gate is used uh, when uh, we work with the uh, AND gate symbol is like this. So, AND gate is used when we have certain factors or the components like A, B or C. It can be any there can be any number of the uh, components or the subcomponents A, B, C. So, uh, the product or of or improper functioning of a particular stage can uh, occur when the all three causes has to be present or all both these two causes has to be present. So, if we see if they are just two components then failure of the both will be needed for improper functioning otherwise component can keep on working well. While in case of the OR gate if failure of any of the two occurs then it will lead to the um, uh, improper functioning of the a particular stage or particular part or particular uh, 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 process. So, here uh, the, then the another symbol. So, this one is used at the top level or at the bottom most level. Uh, this one is used uh, to show the relationship uh, between the various causes and their functions. Like if both causes are present, uh, both causes or more than two causes should be present for uh, improper functioning then they will be connected with the AND gate. If one of the so many other causes need to be present for uh, improper functioning of the product then OR gate is used. So, uh, this uh, circle uh, is used for uh, uh, identifying uh, those uh, events or steps which uh, uh, can not be broken down, broken down further into the 
lower elements so means these uh, these points become the actionable points and the action is taken on these steps in order to um, avoid the problem uh, or avoid the failure which has taken place so that the system can be uh, brought into the working condition so uh, so these are the few symbols there is one more symbol apart from these and gate or gate circle and square and this one is the diamond shape diamond shape is used for uh, those events and the activities which cannot be analyzed either due to the limited expertise or due to any other reason so uh, these activities these are uh, the diamond is used for showing those activities which are not analyzed due to various reasons so these are the symbols which are used for developing the fault tree uh, diagram so uh, for developing the fault tree diagram the important step is identify what is the kind of failure that is to be investigated so that at the top we mention the failure and thereafter we try to uh, see the we, we try to develop the functional block diagram for a particular product or for the process for which fault tree diagram is being developed and uh, uh, in light of this uh, these uh, functional uh, um, functional block diagram uh, we try to list the causes of failure so like if there are three broad components in a product one is taking input second is processing the information and the third is giving the output then the various causes for uh, for the failure of the input uh, uh, things are identified various ways by which the process can fail are identified so the causes for failure of the process are identified and the causes for failure of the output are identified and all these may be independent of each other so so these causes are the we can say the contributors of failure for each function of product or process are identified and for this purpose only we need the brainstorming so that the, the, the each function or step can be analyzed uh, sequentially and also uh, here uh, the interrelationship between the various causes is also identified interrelationship between the various uh, interrelationship between various uh, between various causes of failure is also identified so uh, and then this information is used subsequently to develop the fault tree diagram so uh, link the contributors to the top failure with the correct kind of gate which can be the and gate or the or gate now uh, you see uh, we need to ask certain questions like uh, we need to uh, uh, fr from the functional block diagram uh, the different uh, there can be the different uh, components uh, which will be providing the input for proper functioning of the product so uh, we need to keep on breaking down the various causes to see up to what extent these causes can be break, broken down and which will be coming through the improper functioning of the various sub components so we need to ask for uh, during the breaking down of these causes we need to ask can we determine the causes or the contributors for this lower failure because the top failure which is really is stopping the working due to, which can stop the working due to the various regions for example uh, say if it is car car can stop working due to the various regions like there is no fuel or 
uh, spark plug is not working or uh, engine not starting or uh, so the say broadly these are the three one the fuel is not there or the spark plug is not working or engine itself is not starting or there is some uh, breakage of the wire so there so this is one thing say the spark plug is not working because it is not getting supply now supply it is not getting which can happen due to the uh, wire breaking of the wire or even if the wire is intact the battery battery is not well charged so likewise this is the top cause that the car is not working which may not work due to the improper functioning of the spark plug and the spark plug may not function due to the proper due to the lack of the power supply supply is not getting and supply it may not get due to the breaking of the wires and the or it can happen also due to the, uh, the 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 battery is not charged or say the wire can break again due to the number of reasons related with like insulation short circuiting has taken place so means for the top cause there can be number of the lower causes or the lower uh, failures and we need to keep uh, the lower failures breaking down until we find that now we have reached to the actionable level of the uh, lower level of the failures where we can take the action in order to avoid in order to uh, bring the system in proper working condition so uh, so we need to ask like can we determine the contributors for this lower failure and if we find no then we need to stop there otherwise if we can if we get the answer like yes then repeat the cycle of making each contributors as a top failure and then a sign gate and then same thing will uh, be repeated if the answer is no means we are finished and now we may also end our faulty diagram when we reach to the all determinable indeterminable basic or the root causes on which we can take the action further or on which we can do the investigation to find out the cause so this is what is there in schematically what has been shown uh, uh, what i have so this is the same what i have described in form of and gate and or gate so this is the top level failure the top level failure in case of the and gate both these lower level uh, uh, functions or both these lower level failure should occur for occurring the top level failure. So, here when this is the case like th there are two lower level uh, failures and both should occur for the failure of uh, one this top level. So, AND gate means for upper failure to occur all these failures must occur. So, both these failures must occur for the failure of this top level failure while in this case in or gate is used when uh, for the upper failure to occur one of these failures must occur means any of these uh, three failures uh, can lead to the failure of the upper level failure so uh, so this is how the various causes are related with the uh, various uh, uh, related with the functionality of a particular level of the failure. So, this is the like say schematically it has been shown the different uh, uh, the layers of uh, uh, of the faulty diagram and the how it is developed. For example, at the top what we will be mentioning identify the top level fault that system is not working which may not work due to the various uh, contributors. So, link the contributors to the top uh, level failure by the logic gates. So, a logic gate here is the AND gate. AND gate means there are three contributors 1, 2 and 3. So, these three contributors in this case uh, the presence of all these three is needed means all these three uh, contributors should fail for improper functioning of the top failure. Uh, failure of the uh, top level failure. So, uh, so, here in this case these have been related with the AND gate. 
So, through the brain storming only this will be identified if failure of any one of these uh, uh, part or the component can lead to the improper functioning or failure of all these three is needed for improper functioning. So, that is what is identified through the brain storming. Then these, uh, uh, these will be again be considered as a top level failure for further breaking them down. So, here if this one is broken down further we find again then OR gate here of uh, means different contributors for the OR gate are identified means different contributors are identified and they are corrected accordingly. Say for here for this level failure uh, for the failure uh, of this uh, component uh, in the um, in the sequence uh, there is OR gate which means the failure of either this one or this one can lead to the failure of the component. This is the second level uh, contributors and in this case they are connected through the OR gate means if any of these two uh, fail then it will not be uh, means this is also one of the uh, function and if uh, these fail then it will be leading to the failure of this upper level uh, contributor uh, upper level uh, component. And then uh, here it is further broken down uh, like this, uh, this uh, second level contributor is further broken down through the OR gate and we find that there are two more uh, components and uh, failure of any of these two can lead to the failure of this level uh, of the contributor and this can lead to the improper functioning of the component as a whole. So, e so if we see all these are actually uh, um, in uh, this schematic indicating that this is the main system which is uh, showing that the system has failed and which can occur due to the various level of the failure of the various level of the contributors and the various causes are identified for each level of the failures and they are interrelated with each other to see if uh, both a failure of one or failure of more than one um, uh, components is required for failure of the system or uh, just failure of one of the components can lead to the failure of the system. So, accordingly AND gate or OR gate are used and this cycle is repeated until we reach to the situation where we reach to the situation where um, we get the circles means circle is indicating that we have reached to the situation where it cannot be broken down further. So, there is one example where the functional uh, tree diagram uh, in a faulty diagram is applied for the smoke alarm uh, improper functioning. So, indication is that uh, uh, indication here is that despite of the smoke in the room alarm did not uh, smoke alarm did not give the siren this was the. So, the, the, the fault was uh, the no alarm despite of the smoke in the room smoke alarm uh, did not give any siren. So, for uh, this purpose uh, the brain storming was carried out and the functional block diagram was developed to understand how the smoke detector functions and thereafter uh, brain storming was further carried out to see what are the various causes for the smoke detectors uh, means due to uh, what are the various causes uh, possible causes for uh, the failure of the um, smoke alarm. Um, at the input level, process level or at the out, uh, output level. So, there must be some uh, presence of some cause because of which uh, the alarm did not give the signal. So, here the failure was like an indicator light is on yet even with the sufficient amount of the smoke directly below the detector vents the alarm does not signal means there was no siren. So, so for this purpose uh, to analyze this failure uh, the fault tree uh, uh, analysis was carried out and uh, first step in this is uh, the development of the functional block diagram. So, functional block diagram for the smoke detector was developed through the brain storming and it was found that smoke detector gets the input from the inputs uh, in form of the smoke and uh, smoke is uh, uh, smoke reaches into the uh, detector uh, through the uh, vents uh, smoke enters through the vents into the smoke detector and uh, smoke enters the uh, after 
entry through the vents smoke further enters the ionization chamber. So, smoke is there outside in uh, outside the detector it enters the enters through the vent into the ionization chamber and the process is what the smoke detection of the smoke is the is the processing of the information like battery powers uh, battery powers the control box indicator light smoke detector smoke is ionized uh, causes the increase in voltage whenever there is a smoke in the ionization chamber smoke is ionized and which in turn increases the voltage and uh, which in turn gives the signal uh, signal is sent from the smoke detector triggers the control box circuit and box circuit sends the signal to the power to the siren and output appears in form of the alarm signal in form of siren. So, signal or power to the siren turns the motor, motor causes siren to sound and the alarm signal is achieved. So, this is the functional block diagram which shows that uh, so first uh, smoke should enter uh, into the vent and uh, if the vent is blocked then smoke will not enter into the vent and if the vent uh, annuation chamber is blocked then smoke will not enter also into the annuation chamber. So, finally, uh, a smoke has to for a smoke uh, to be there in the annuation chamber it should enter first into, uh, into the vent and then it should enter into the annuation chamber any blockage will lead to the improper functioning. The same is true here power is not there or a smoke is not ionized or the power control is a problem and therefore it is not able to send the signal. So, this is the sequence or signal is not I mean signaling system is not working motor is a problem because of which it is not giving the signal. So, this is the kind of chain which needs to be looked into. So, the failure is here a smoke detector does not detect the smoke. So, these are connected through the OR gate. OR gate means either a smoke is not present in the chamber or a smoke is not detected or alarm is not sounding. These are the through three possible cases um, because of which we are not able to get a, the a smoke detector is not able to detect the smoke. So, here uh, we see the smoke is not present in the chamber despite of being present in the room. So, there can be various causes again it is uh, they are connected through the OR gate because presence of any of the cause can lead to the absence of the smoke in the chamber like vent is blocked or annuation chamber is blocked. In both these cases um, the smoke will not enter into the chamber for the annuation purpose. In the processing section smoke not detected again it happen it can happen due to the various regions like defective control box no power to the control box, no power for no power at the annuation chamber or defective annuation chamber. So, things are not working in the annuation stage or detection stage and um, thereafter no power, uh, uh, no power at the control box means again there can be two regions broken wire or defective shouldering joint or um, here defective annuation chamber can be due to the annuation chamber crack or any other similar kind of the regions. So, here it shows that uh, it cannot the crack the cause cannot this one cannot be lower level cause cannot be uh, broken down further. So, it has been shown by the circle alarm signal is not working means again it is connected through the OR gate and here alarm signal cannot work uh, may not work due to the two regions one is alarm is defective or there is no power to the alarm again no power to the alarm can be due to the two regions one is broken wire or defective soldering joint which is giving supply to the power. So, likewise we can keep on breaking down the various uh, lower level causes and until we find that we have got reached to the some actionable steps and things cannot be broken down further. So, this is how we will be able to show the interrelationship between the various uh, uh, sequential steps through which uh, a particular system works in uh, uh, to and once if this one is established it will help us to pinpoint the kind of things which are not working properly so that we can take the corrective action on that particular part. So, uh, now I will summarize this presentation. In this presentation basically I have talked about the faulty uh, analysis or the faulty diagram. It talks about the various steps and the methods which are used for, for the faulty analysis or for developing the faulty diagram. The faulty uh, analysis helps in understanding the relationship between the various 
uh, causes at the different levels and, and also helps in understanding the interrelationship between the various uh, causes uh, which can lead to the improper functioning of the component. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.